humans of the internet! Welcome to the Galen Horde. Today we are playing Big Fish, which is... I'm just going to turn Sirenscapes down because it's very dramatic in my ears right now. Um, which is a game where these six lovely people are going to go to the lovely little fishing village of Ixto and see if they can figure out who's eating the fishermen, pretty much. Um, so... Before we get into that, we're going to do all the things we do before we do the, the D&Ding. Uh, today's in-game giveaway is called the Potion of Potions. It is one of the many wondrous and bizarre things in the deck of useful things made by level one gamers, which they have very kindly allowed us to playtest for them in the horde. Um, so if you would like to try to win that for your character or another gallant horde character, exclamation point shiny thing in the chat. Potion of Potions. It's a fun one. Um, very special announcement. As you may or may not know, it is currently school holidays in New Zealand, which means that Adam is at home being a stay-at-home dad looking after Mr. Seven and Mr. Nine, who are currently with us for the week. So they have decided that they are going to do a Minecraft stream on Wednesday morning at 10 a.m., which is this time, wherever in the world you are. Um... If it's night time where you are, it will probably be Tuesday night for you. Anyway, they're going to do a Minecraft stream with Adam and the two Sprogs. Um, and Adam will probably rerun it at 10 p.m. that night for those of you who cannot be around on Twitch at 10 a.m. But that should be a lot of fun. So join us for that. Um, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. They're doing, I don't know, maybe he'll put the information in there. There's a particular um, mod. That they're I, I don't i don't game i don't know how minecraft works there are blocks you break them and turn them into other things as far as i can tell anyway i'm sure he will explain his plan in the chat at some future point um birds of a feather that's a thing we do sometimes uh we currently have three games in the works the sorcerers paladins and wizards uh, we will probably be scheduling those for the break between our Gallon Horde seasons, because at the moment we are jamming as many Gallon Horde games into our schedule as we can possibly manage. Um, but if we hit our subscriber goal for October, we'll throw another one in. It'll either be Fighters or Rangers, because those are the only ones we haven't done yet. Uh, if you don't know what Birds of a Feather is, it is a series of one-shots where the party is all one thing. By which I mean all rogues, all sorcerers, or whatever. One class six people it's always ridiculous and a lot of fun uh we are also still doing donations for adam's new computer rig um the current one is for the motherboard i believe which is a fairly largish one it's kind of important uh so i think the current goal on that is about 425 dollars uh when we hit that that's new zealand dollars when we hit that we will do a familiars game so we'll pick six of the familiars or steeds in the horde and give them a game. They're going to go on an oh, adventure. It should be great fun. What? Did we hit the mob? Did we hit the we mob? We hit the mob. Yep, yep. Oh. We hit the mob one. Yep, so we've moved on to the next thing now. Yes, so the mob will be happening probably also in the, in that gap. I don't know how we're going to fit all these games in that gap, but we're going to make it work. I think that's all my things for today. So... I am going to get all you lovely people to introduce yourselves and your characters and maybe explain what you look like today because everyone has seeming on them just at present while I roll a potion of resistance. Starting with Fernando, who I nearly called Lon. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Hi, uh, Every I'm time. Fernando. I'm playing Lon Trofoa, a lizard folk paladin. Today he looks like an old orcish grandma with like medium length white hair and she's still kind of muscly. I love it. Must Laura. be grandma. Must Hi, be grandma. I'm Laura. I play Claudette, who is a changeling. They are normally gnome presenting, uh, but today they're not in seeming because they're a change. Uh, but they look like uh, a sea elf who looks like uh, Ursula, if Ursula was a sea elf. So they're tall, nice. and fat, and purple, and white haired. I love Anyways. it. Trent. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Trent. Uh, I play Chuck. I'm a ranger monk. Uh, I have a uh, way of the uh, um, uh, way of the. Oh no, we'll go go on with the uh, seeming. Uh, the I'm looking a bit bit older. Sea dog look. I've got a Popeye pipe and uh, a uh, 
fish and tackle hat um, sporting today. So yeah. Still a centaur, hey, is your is your centaur part like your? Yeah. So so t- Chuck is a centaur, yes. Rob. Hey, I'm Rob. Uh, I play Sheritzfin, who is a dragonborn monk rogue. And today he looks a bit like a bronze-skinned pirate kind of dude. Love it. Lacey. <laughs> Pirates. I'm Lacey, and I play Beshra the Lizard Folk, and she's usually like bright green and orange and yellow, and today she's more brown. Just a bit muted. Yep. And Jackie. I'm Jackie. I am playing Doris, the Blood Hunter artificer she's still looking gnomish but she's uh paler of skin got short pigtails and she's going by the name effie effie excellent i'm Jax, which you probably know by now and i play everybody else okay um <laughs> so is there anything any of you are doing before you enter the throne room today I believe you have all the usual buffs and whatnot from your fellow hordies. Yeah? Yep, all buffed up. All right. To go in, yeah. Excellent. You walk into the throne room. The lady is wearing a gown that looks like it's made of like mermaid scales. Not real mermaid scales, because she has actual friends who are mermaids. Um, Fake mermaid scales, but it has that like shimmery, scaly, fishy kind of look, and it's all blues and greens and very, very pretty. What's the potion? The potion is. Necrotic resistance. Ooh. Thank you for reminding me, chat. Um, and she says, hello, adventurers. Welcome. Uh, today you are going to Ixto. It is a rather small place, um, but they're having some trouble with people being, well, eaten. Um, did you have any questions before I send you on your way? Good morning, I just uh, Your Majesty. Bows his head slightly. Uh, usual question. Are we operating officially as the Horde? I yes. notice we are disguised. Yes, I believe that is more to throw off my dear husband, should he appear, than anything else. But yes, you may. You are operating as the Horde. Um, one of the people, her name is Bethan. Um, she is a member of this village, and... Well, she's an old acquaintance of mine. Um, Understood. Her her brother-in-law was one of the people who has disappeared, and so she has requested assistance. He nods. She nods. Grandma, oh, grandma nods. <laughs> the lady sees you as you are. She has true sight. <laughs> That's fine. But yeah. Um... Claudette's cauldron is floating behind her, and it has a giant octopus, like, <laughs> wrapped around it. Um, Love it. <laughs> so... Hey. Right. Yeah, you can go. Oh, sorry, and Chuck um, is about four inches taller than normal uh, still. Um, he's uh, not quite touching the ground at the moment. I think one of us wrote down some questions and Claudette starts like going through her pockets and looking. <laughs> the lady has answered at least two of mine. Oh, Excellent. hooray. Oh, did Sharon wanted to know if they, what do we know about normal like fish in the area? Are there any legends of like sea monsters? I mean, it's a fishing village. I'm sure they have legends of sea monsters. That's very normal. Um, but it is not normal for fishermen to be dragged out of their boats and eaten. That's unusual. There are the the usual sea things. There are, you know, a couple of giant octopuses, probably some sort of um, sharks, things of that nature, things you would expect, but this is new and different. So is this a lake? Sea lake? Or is it a... No, no, it's it's an ocean. It's a sea. It is, okay. I understand that there's a bay and then the wider ocean, but yeah. Thank you. That is all from me. Thank you, Your Majesty. I don't know the details. 
of what has happened to these people, but that is what you're going to find out. Oh. Right, well. Claudette will headbutt her octopus, who is wearing a giant orange bow tie as well, um, and it disappears into the fey realm, uh, into the its pocket realm, and her cauldron becomes hand-sized, and she puts it in her pocket. Someone needs to draw this octopus in a cauldron with a bright orange bow tie. That is my request for the day. <laughs> Artists of the Horde, <laughs> do, do this for me. Um, <laughs> all right. So you're ready to go then. Excellent. She yep. claps her hands since no one responds and just does the... <laughs> I'm getting side eyes in the chat. Um, <laughs> uh, and you find yourselves in a very small fishing village. Let me show you what it looks like when I've put you all in one place so that I can copy you across successfully. <clears throat> it is not large at all. You are on the outskirts. I'm going to dump you on the map, but you would be on the outskirts of it. Um, it's a very simple, just a few little houses and like a fence around the outside and it opens out onto this bay area. It is kind of overcast. It has that like horrible light drizzle that's not exactly rain, but if you stand in it for too long, it soaks through all your clothes. You know the kind I mean. Um, it's it's very. It, it's not it's not super welcoming as far as weather goes. It's a bit chilly, not like proper cold, but just a bit chilly. You know, wind coming oh, off goodness. the sea is a bit cold. Sentinel, you're being good at it. Dunedin in spring. That's what we're dealing with here. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the Kiwis all go. <laughs> all right, what do you want to do? In spring. I lived in Dunedin for seven terrible years. Anyway. <laughs> I know your pain. I know your pain. I should be more used to this rain being the token Brett of the group. Yes, Wait. you would you would you would know exactly the kind of weather I'm talking about. Claire right. looks at the others and like, what was the name of the lady we're here to meet again? Um Bethan. 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 Cool. Claire puts her fingers in her mouth and whistles real loud and says, <laughs> Excuse me, is there anybody named Beth in here? Are you still outside the village or have you gone in? Oh, she's in like where, where we are on the map. Okay, because I, I I dropped you outside. I just don't have enough map for that. Claudia um, has zero yeah. patience and zero chill. Cool. Um, yeah, you you see a human woman, kind of step out of a house, frowning, sort of cock her head at you and go, "Yes, I'm Bethan. Can I help you?" She's probably speaking in like a lovely Scottish accent that I can't do. Uh, a friend Use of your yours sent us to help you with your problem. Ah, ah, yes, you you are here on behalf of the sun. Yes, we are. Yes, yes, please, please come in. And she like ushers you into her house. And it's it's fairly simple. It's like a, a it's like a big kitchen living area. And then there's like one bedroom off in the back somewhere. Um, it's it's large and rambly. And there's a lot of things hanging from you know. It looks, you know what I mean. Wow, words are failing me. Do you know what I'm getting at? Yes, we yeah. nice, we understand. Nice fantasy fisherman lady's kitchen place. And she like hustles you to the, the kitchen table. It's a big wooden table. She goes, sit, sit. Um, I can I can make tea. Would you like tea? Yes. Sure. Excellent. Tea. Yes, she, she starts to rustle up some tea and she like, there are little like biscuits as well. Um. And she says, so, um, you're, you're here to help us with the monster in the bay. Yes, what can you tell us about it? It's a big fish, as far as we can tell. Um, it, what it overturns the boats. Of... Huh? What kind of fish? It's not, it's, it's not like any fish we've ever seen before. Um, it's, it's very... It's large, but it looks, it's very floofy, you know, it has a lot of, like, pretty frills on it, but it's very okay. big. Anyway, it, it comes up boats, underneath yes. boats and knocks them over and then eats the people. So, of course, none of us want to, well, none of us want to go back out onto the water with that floating around in there, but without it, 
we can't fish, and without fish, we can't trade, and that's a problem. It's not cool. floating; it's swimming. Mm -hmm. Correct. Fish floating are usually dead. It would be nice It'll if it was floating, floating then it would be dead. Yes. Finished. Correct. Lon, it was a figure of speech, buddy. <laughs> ah, I see. Yes. But fish is good. That means we don't have to contend with tentacles. That's always nice. It doesn't appear to have mm -hmm. tentacles from what we've seen, no. Does mm -hmm. it come at very... certain times a day? I mean, yeah. it, it doesn't seem to have a preference. Uh, obviously, fishermen tend to go out at a certain time of the day, so that's when they get eaten. Okay. But, yeah. We've lost Wait, three stop. people. Which is a lot for us. We're not a big place. Um, at that point, we stopped going out. Honestly, yeah, between you and me, you. it's a problem. The men folk are very restless and cranky when they can't fish. It's a, it's, they keep getting under our feet. I mean, men are cranky and restless in general. Yes, but uh, you can send them out on the boats and then it's not your problem, you know? Yeah, I get it. Anyway. I get, I get you, lady. Yeah. Is there perhaps a boat we could uh, use to go out and... Uh, yes, you can use our out. boat, but, but please try not to overturn it. We're already down two boats. Mm, but yes, I can, I can give you a boat. I suppose, if you need it. When I mean, it would be easier to use a boat than trying to swim out. When was the Definitely. last person who was taken? It was about a week ago. Okay. How oh. often do they disappear? Before the last well, one? We've only had two boats overturned before we stopped sending people out. There was, like, maybe four days between them. Okay. They're probably hungry by now. Okay. Mm. What time do the boats usually oh, Well, the fishermen go out at dawn, usually. Depending on the weather, is it, but usually dawn. Is it morning at the moment? Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> well, let's head out then. We're not going to learn anything uh, here. Let's go kill a fish. Good hunting. Yeah. Come, let me let me show you. And she takes you over. And there's there's like a fishing boat. It's not very fancy. It's a very simple fishing boat. It's got like it probably doesn't have an engine because this is fantasy land. Um, sails probably. Uh, but it's yeah. it's not it's not elaborate or very fancy. Um, Claudette is actually proficient with water vehicles, so we'll step on. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Secret skills. <laughs> And, and Chuck will um, uh, get to the shore and actually start walking on the water on his way, uh, just waiting for the uh, boat to be let loose. Cool. Um, it's not super big. It's probably quite a tight squeeze, even with Chuck yep. not in the boat, for all of you to get yeah. into it. Um, I think that. Yeah. It's easier. Does Chuck, the boat need to be pushed out? Sorry, go. Uh, Claudette will lean into Doris and whisper, Chuck doesn't like people riding him and then go back to what she was doing. Oh, he's let me do it before. Okay. Oh, well then, <laughs> and then she nudges some forward. Does the and boat goes back to what she was doing. Well, good hunting, out? she says. You can see, like, on the docks, there are several men sitting around looking exactly like she described. Cr cranky and frustrated, like they they can't do the thing that they usually do, so they're kind of at a bit of a loose end. <laughs> they don't really know what to do with themselves. A couple of them are like playing checkers, but they all look a bit like out of sorts. All right, let's, let's well, get this boat going. Good luck, please. Look after Daffy. Daffy. Is Daffy the boat? Daffy is the boat. Yes. We will take care of Daffy. Um, Claudette looks at Doris and is like, do you want to ride an octopus? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> there you go. Claudette will let Gwidley out into the water 
and Squidly will like reach out with a tentacle. You see Bethan's eyes just get wide. <laughs> She's like, whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and off we go. Off you go. Cool. Let's just go to the water then, I guess. Um, it's kind of a nice little bay. Here it is. I never expected Claudette's background as a smuggler and like her proficiency with water. I don't have a be. boat. Maybe I have a boat. Let me see if I have a boat. I don't think I have a boat. So you're all just going to have to imagine a boat. Because I thought, oh, look, I do. Uh, make a map see. Oh, there we go. I do have a boat. It's a tiny little rowboat. But we can make it big. <laughs> There you go. You have a boat. Um, so are these little islands? Yep. Um, yeah, they're just like sticking, will... sticking out of the water. Cool. Shirtsman will stay in the water. He'll swim. Cool. He'll pull his hood of his cloak up. I'll give you an octopus as well. Oh, here we Check lose it. Stay oh, alongside the boat. Can you make the octopus large size beast? Thank you. Please hold while I make it your problem. There we go. You're in charge of octopus now. Um, but that, that boat's oars are humongous. Just give me an idea. <laughs> it's not actually a rowboat, but that's what that's the token I have, so. So who's actually in the boat then? <laughs> um I think well, <laughs> Lon, Lon and Ray. Well. And, and Claudette. Ray. And Claudette, okay. The cool. half a team on the boat. So Doris is riding the octopus and Chuck and Sherrod are in, the, are in and on the water, correct? Yep. Cool. So this is just like generic out in the bay, yeah? Yeah. Um... Sherrod will swim what? down underwater for a bit and look around, see if he sees anything. Make a perception check. It would be 20. What are you looking for? Um, uh, any large fish, uh, any unusual sort of, I don't know, rock formations or constructions or anything. There's nothing constructed. Um, there is a bunch of fish. What is my under the sea one? Oh wait, hang on. Please hold for figuring shit out. Um, you do see at the bottom of the bay the wreckage of one of these boats that has obviously been pulled down. Okay. But no It'll... big fish at this point. We'll pop up and tell the others that the they are obviously in the right place because there's a wrecked boat there. Um. Yeah, and I guess he'll swim right down and have a look at the wreckage and see, look for bodies and stuff, I guess. Have they been eaten or were they just grounded? Make an investigation check. Ooh, my strong suit. You're looking uh, for things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I get that. Um, <clears throat> ten. Um, you don't find much. You find some old sails, bits of wood. Maybe a couple of barrels. No sign of bodies that you can see. Um, meanwhile, uh, Chuck will have a good look around the um, surface to see if he can see any disturbance uh, just in general ac across the bay. Uh, Roll an 11. Check, please. Yep. Uh, 11. 11. Not the beast. It's some seagulls. There's nothing obviously disturbing at the moment. Nice. Yep. So it's going to look quiet. for one of these islands that she can kind of moor the boat to. Um, they're they're not really of... island islands. They're like rocks jutting out of the water. But you could probably find a random tree that's struggling to grow or something that you can attach it to. Oh, the, the, the rocks are fine because I'll use... Or a rock, um, yeah. Like, sh I've got s spells that I can make okay. something grow and I'll yeah. tie the rope to it. Um, just so that the, if the, yeah, her thought is that if the boat is against the rock, it's less likely to get eaten. Mm. Yeah. Um, so shall we do some investigation? Yeah. 
try to find yep. this fish. Here we found little, but they said there were two boats missing. Maybe the other boat, if we can find it. And if the boats are fixable, uh, Squidly and I can always pull them up and onto the shore. Um. Okay, and Claudette will dive into the water. Yep. Are the rest of you also diving into the water? What is your water breathing situation? Uh, we have water breathing cast on us. Yes, we okay, do. it is. I thought um, you probably would, but... Man, can I approach a fish? Can I move the boat away so I can take you underwater? Please hold. Oh, yeah. Squidly. Squidly's happily swooping through the water. Oh, I brought the boat with me anyway. <laughs> Be gone, boat! Okay. Um, yeah, so under the water you definitely find the wreckage of a boat. Um... You want to find yeah, a fish? Yeah, is it, is it like, is it this wrecked? It's pretty wrecked. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna find a fish. Okay. Are you looking for any particular kind of fish? Um, big, a bigger, fish. a bigger fish. <laughs> a big fish. There aren't a lot of huge, well, like there's no huge fish, but yes, no, no, there are no, a couple like, of fish. Like a, like a bigger fish. Okay. She's sure. looking There's amongst the fish that are around. Find a fish. Bloop, bloop. I'm a fish now. Uh, I'm gonna cast speak with animals. <laughs> I figured. Yeah. Hello, friend. Hello. You're a very colorful fish. I am a very colorful fish. Uh, there is a, a somewhere here. There is a giant fish. Yep. It is also a very colorful fish. Do you know where it is? Or where I, we could find it? It eats everything. We don't like it. Well, we're here to make it either go away, or we're gonna eat it. So where could we find Ooh. it? That's a lot of fish. Could you eat all that fish? Yes. And I smile yeah. and it's all teeth. <laughs> Excellent. Good, good, good. Excellent, good. You don't eat little fish, though. No, little fish are my friends. They're not food. Good. Good, good, good. Where oh, would we find have an issue. Um, it, it comes sometimes. It comes from the sea. Okay. It, it brings its friends. It they brings they its are friend? weird. They are strange fish. They're like you. They are fish with legs. That's weird. Fish should not have legs. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for your help. Sure. Uh, and she's going to motion to the others to swim sort of more towards the ocean. And he's going to tell them what they said about um, the fish with legs. Fish is this a legs. cult, maybe? I mean, maybe someone got bored and gave fish legs. No, when it when the fish said fish with legs, it meant people. Yeah, like maybe when sea elves giant... or. Yeah, which is why I'm wondering something... if this is like a cult. Well, something large, though, too. Hmm. To a fish. Which, which direction's the ocean? Out. <laughs> east. Let's go with east. I point. I point <laughs> away from the land. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. Claudette kind of has already noticed this, but this boat is way more wrecked than it should be if it was only under the sea for a week. Yeah. Um, does this look like having a look at it? What I know about water, about boats. Does this look like a fishing boat? Yeah, absolutely, it does. Um, Claudette will look at Chuck. Be like, back. if we want to, <laughs> if we want to explore the ocean. 
We need to be able to move a bit faster. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about being a whale? I have no idea what that is. Cool. This is gonna I've be lived awesome. in a forest. <laughs> um, do you trust me? Sure, why not? We we've fought together. Awesome. It does mean Claudette. that I'll be reducing my capabilities. I mean, but you'll be able to we'll be able to swim and you'll be able to bite things. Mm-hmm. Um Plus, I can always turn you into not a whale when we find what we're looking for. Sure. You um, need to be fast. So that, that's it's fine for now. Okay. Claudette is going to oh. reach out and cast Polymorph on Chuck. Chuck is now a whale? Oh, wait. Uh, and turns him into a sperm whale. Excellent. Oh, cool. <laughs> Claudette, oh, really? can you make a perception check for me? Please. Oh, dear. Uh, no. <laughs> Thematic yeah, for the horde right now. Um, okay. This is... That's pretty good. 25. Okay. Um, this boat has quite clearly been stripped. Not just okay. wrecked, but stripped. Just FYI. Okay. Claudette will tell everybody that before she does the sperm whale thing. And be like, they've taken things from here. What sort of things? Um, and I'll point out, like, the wood that's been stripped away. and um... A fish wouldn't strip a boat. No, that's why I'm mm. thinking that this was the people. Building something? Yeah. If these people can um, swim, why do they need bits of a boat, though? That's another. To construct mm -hmm. things under the water, maybe. Hey. I do have beast sense to check uh, with any local animals and look further if it helps. But I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, okay. Well, if we want to go and check the ocean a bit more, do we want... And I can turn you into a whale now if you're ready. How about we get uh, further out um, before it becomes an issue? Okay. I, I can certainly we'll swim keep out up. a bit further. Yep. All right. So you swim out towards the sea. Um, it's a lot more of the same under here. Like, there, there are... You know, there's marine life, but it's nothing you wouldn't expect in this sort of environment. Um, can I get perception checks from everyone, please? Thirty twenty. That's a that twenty three. Uh, oh, here we go. Natural twenty. Uh, twenty nine. Nice. Good. Good. Oh, uh, today. All right. So most of you, except for Lon, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> um, this this water is pretty cold. Like it's not icy, freezing cold, but it's not comfortable. It's pretty cold. Um, but there is definitely a current of warmer water coming from the ocean towards you. Kind of just drifting, oh. but yeah, it's not a rapid current, but it's like a there's there's some yeah there's something going on there. Chuck, uh, if you want to be a whale, I'm happy to be a whale. Isn't he already a whale? Oh, no, you haven't changed know. him yet. I'm not yet, <laughs> yeah. So we've gone to so this if you don't point, want to, yeah. Do you want to be a whale? Otherwise, I'm happy to be a whale. You, um, I, I'm happy to uh, look at the options uh, when required, but if you if you need to be a whale, be a whale. I'm gonna, can... Okay, I'm not going to turn Chuck into a whale. I'm going to turn myself into a whale. <laughs> turn myself into oh. a sperm whale. And I'm going to tell the others before I turn, I'm going to be like, when I turn, grab hold of my fins and we'll follow this warm current of water. I don't have a whale. You didn't tell me you needed a whale. I wasn't so. expecting to turn into a whale. I think I have a whale. 
Oh, here we go. Here what, we go. The whale. Found a whale. There you go. How big is a whale? Uh, this one is gargantuan. So, four by four. You can't be four by four because you're a rectangle. But there we go. That's good enough. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell them to grab hold. Uh, I can swim, like, 90 feet. Um, and I've got echolocation. Uh, so I'm going to follow this warm current while echolocating. Okay. okay. So you're all riding the Claudette whale. <laughs> um, and being oh, accompanied boy. by a giant octopus, I guess, as you follow yeah. the warm current out to the sea. Um, as you get to the end of the bay, you can see that there is, it's kind of corally, um, which is, again, weird, because coral doesn't usually grow in this kind of water. Um, and I don't know if any of you would actually know that, or if that's just me being nerdy. Um, but anyway, and you eventually follow the heat and you find on the bottom of the seabed basically a fissure in the ground um, that is hot and it looks like this I hope I got everyone with my copy paste apparently the coral is very large too um. it is also notably there's not a lot of, a lot of uh, marine life. Like, coral has grown here, or is here, but there's no, there's very little else. Does it is look like a dark? naturally made fissure? Uh, yeah, like, it looks like something has, it's split open. It doesn't look like something's okay. broke, broken it open here. And is it dark, or is it just, does it have light coming out of it? Out of the hole? Yeah. It's kind of glowing. Hmm. I'm going to use echolocation, which is 120 feet. Is there anything inside this fissure? In, in it? Yeah. No. I mean, maybe okay. some lava. Is she just making sure that there's not, like, a, something hiding in it about what it is? <clears throat> no, no, no. Okay. Um, it is, like, spewing out warm very hot hotness though wow my language is great today you guys very hot hotness go jacks you know that i'm a writer <laughs> hey anyway <laughs> um let's Claudette can't speak as a whale um so she's just gonna swim around a bit and investigate okay what are you looking for um anywhere that it uh Actually, she's looking for signs of, like, people. Okay. Make an investigation check. Uh, 19 plus 6 is 25. There's not really signs of people. Mm -hmm. There's... The most notable thing is that there's nothing. There's no fish, there's no, like, apart from the things that can't move because they're coral and attached to the rocks, anything that was living here has clearly fucked off. Which in itself is kind of a sign of something is here. But it's not currently home, it would appear. Is there any signs of just normal um, fish life in the in the immediate vicinity, or is it pretty much no. gone burger? All right, okay. Right. So there's nothing like that. Yeah. Nothing. Long for the rest of the party. Do we go in? <laughs> Hot. It's whale, very hot. The whale should, no. the whale should shake their head. 
Yeah. Like that's a good way to resistance. get yourself boiled. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. that hot. I thought it was like Yeah. Nip- it's like oh, lava okay. hot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, it's I that mean, hot. Your Did scales he... might protect you for some things. Skin does not. Good point. Yeah. You'd definitely be sporting fire resistance at this point. Can I have perception? What is your your echolocation? How does that work? Is that like a passive thing, or do no, you have to it, turn it on and it off? Works, it works basically like blind sight. I have 120 feet of blind sight, basically. Okay. You definitely feel something large coming towards where you are through the water. I it's larger see. than your current whale size, just to give you an cool. idea. I will swim, like, around the group and then point to the direction that it's coming from. Yeah. I'll try so and I see go, it. I go up to... Uh, yeah, I go up to <laughs> Basra and, see it. and I, like, look at Basra right in the, my giant whale eye. <laughs> I'm hoping Basra uh-huh. has to speak with animals. <laughs> uh uh You oh, don't have to speak with animals! You're a druid! Oh. <laughs> Wait! And do I do modulation of light bulb while I got in Lon's brain. She can't speak with animals. Yeah. <laughs> Lonnie! My friend! The giant fish is coming! Understood. <laughs> he could t- translate for everyone else. Fish is coming. It is approaching rapidly. What are you doing? From which direction? Which way? Uh, I, northeast. I point. Northeast. I point northeast, just northeast just coming. and I'm like. Cool, cool. Hide up against me and get ready. Yes, yeah, Doris is going to take a position behind a fin and take off the spear that she's been lent from Asa. Yep. And cool. Chuck's Long going to likewise do like the same with his bow. On top of oh. the whale, like whale rider sound to someone's a trident out of thin air. Well, thin water, I guess. I love it. All right, you Are you going to maybe a shark go underwater? It's a trident. No. Let's try it's it. Stabby. Stabby. No, no, ch- Chuck. Oh, yeah, yeah bows underwater. It. Yeah, it'll be disadvantaged. It's got a limited range, it. yeah. <laughs> Bob looks at right. you. He gives you a look, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, Doris gives you a bit of a look. Talk about you this. all watch as out of the darkness of the sea, you see a fish come swimming. At first, it seems really unthreatening until you realize that perspective is fucking with you because this looks like a fish that should not be this big. But it is, in fact, enormous. It looks like this. It's fucking pretty. Oh. (laughs) It's like a nice tropical fish, except that it's huge. It's Mm. massive. It's insanely large. Um... And it's like flushing along with its beautiful red fins, and it's gorgeous. And it's approaching all of you. Uh, you Is it within your shot, I guess? Can I shout it? I I, I don't know what earshot is underwater, but sure, give it a go. (laughs) Halt. Halt. (laughs) That's what you say. Yeah. I've got to speak with animals. I've got to speak with animals. And the fish goes, Why? He didn't think this far shit. (laughs) (laughs) They usually just keep charging at him when he says this. Why are you sinking? Are you sinking the boats? I'm hungry. And they're food sized. I'm very, right. very hungry. I mean, it's funny that it's talking a lot at the start. <laughs> understandable. But things that I eat. You. Maybe do you eat something else? Is there nothing else to eat here? I have eaten everything here. It's not enough. Why None not? of it's enough. Why great? Everywhere else is cold. Cold. Get used to it? No. I think maybe I'll just eat you. <laughs> Get you can try. Talking, while they're talking, do I see any fish with legs? 
Make a perception check. Natural 20. Yep. So, following this fish are several other beings. They are behaving much like pilot fish would around sharks. Like they're kind of hanging around. They clearly have been aiding this fish in some way so that it's not eating them. Um, and they do have legs, but they are not human exactly. <clears throat> and the biggest one kind of at this point will move forward to just here. And he will go, who are you? Do you speak English, bro? The common, <laughs> my apologies. Oh, they don't. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe the boss does. Nope. They're speaking another language. You don't understand them. What language are they speaking? Thahu again. Oh. Is that oh, how you say it? <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't speak that. I doubt any of you speak uh, that. There's no reason for any of you to speak that. Nope. No. Mm -mm. What? And it, it kind of waves a trident at you, like, get the fuck out of here. The, the gesture is very obvious. I think it's challenging us. I say we <laughs> fight them. If you think we should fight them, let's fight them. Um, Lon, when you were talking to the fish, were you translating it back to us? Yes. Mm. Okay. He wasn't translating what he was saying, though. Only what the fish was saying. Well, if it's Amazing. hungry, I've got the bag of holding of food. I think it wants more than that. It's something to stop it taking a chunk. I am snack size. You're well, very snack size. Not turn to the fish. Snack size. <laughs> you are yeah. Not turn to the you... fish. Why no, not eat it... them? And he like waves his finger at the leg people. They help. They bring other things from the cold. They so bring me terrorists. food from the cold. Mm. Essentially. You're getting the vibe that these guys probably are helping the fish lure boats out and then the fish eats the people and then they strip the boats. This is a symbiotic parasitic relationship <laughs> that they have going on here. <clears throat> no way. To convince you to eat them. If I eat them, who will bring me food? The fishermen. The fishermen. The ones on the boats. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's never enough. You need bigger prey. There will yes. never be or to enough be smaller. here. Or to be smaller. <laughs> He's not going to um, translate that bit. Are any of you... Do you, any of you have any reason to know anything about tropical fish? Uh, technically, Lon's Island is tropical, so I could roll nature to see if he actually knows anything okay, about this. Okay, make a nature check then, please. <laughs> that is a 14. Okay, um, I would say that it is very apparent to you that this fish is in the wrong ocean. It does not belong here. And it is also the wrong size for this ocean. And the things it would usually eat don't exist here. And that's a problem. How did you get here? I was swimming and then I was here. For how long were you swimming? Some time. Bishop, no if it's of time, come so on. cold here, why are you still here? Because leaving is colder. You have the cold once, and then you can do no, water. I, I didn't. I didn't swim through the cold to get here. I swam, and then I was here, and then I kept swimming to leave, and I found it was cold away from here. So I come back and Where eat what I can. Did you... Where did you come out on this side? Yeah. Where it's warm. Officially. Okay. Um, Monk will... And, like, he's been translating all of his 
Yeah, Claudette will say to Lon, there has been trouble with the planes. Maybe it fell through a crack. Can we get it back? No. What I don't, does it I can't does it travel be- I can't travel between the plane. I can try and contact the lady and ask her if she can move it to the plane of water. Right. That's an option. Would it? What does everyone else think? Is the, the the pilot fish creatures are currently starting to look very agitated. Mm, They're like right. waving things at me. I think we have to, to, think we have to deal with. Doing. I think we have to deal with the elves first. I can take care of the fish while we deal with the elves, and then we can move the fish. Mm. Don't turn to the elf. I'm not the elf. The fish. Hmm. If you stay still and let us deal with your friends, we will move you to a warmer place, not to the Deal cold. with my friends. If you kill my friends, who will bring me food? We will bring you to a place. We move you to a warm place. That is warm. Make a persuasion check. Mm. Come on, don't fail me now. That is a twenty. 20- 13. Damn it. 2013? <laughs> it's a 13. It's a 13. I thought it was you don't have much inspiration. Oh, I've got to use that then. Just just putting that out there. <laughs> yeah, gotta, gotta use it. Gotta use it. I still think that could... is much better. That's a 25. I still okay. think we could keep it happier with what food we have got. If, it, if it's been Is it week. fish food? Is it fish food that you have? Food from, it's no, it's people human food. food. But yeah. It's eaten stuff from the boats anyway. People are made of. Yeah, the, right. it's the people. Um, the boats. That's the food. It kind of, it kind of swims up to you a little bit, Lon, and looks you right in the eyes and as well eye because it can only do yeah. one at a time. Um, and it goes. I feel like you understand something about what I'm experiencing. Yes. I will stand aside. Swim aside. All right. And it like just flutles over to like over here and watches. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Paul <laughs> communicates with his body. Fish won't interfere. Just the friends. Mm. And he turns to the fishman, points his trident at them. Let's do this. <laughs> hey, because that sounds like the beginning of initiative, and that seems like a good time to stop. Um, this this might be much faster than I anticipated because you made friends with the fish. <laughs> That's d d for you. All right, so we will take a short break. I believe we're going to just do an, a simple ad break because uh, Lionel's doing our tech today and marbles don't work very well for him. So we are going to do that thing. We are giving away some magnets from our red bubble store. I think I said, oh, maybe one. We'll make a two. Two magnets from our red bubble store. Um... So if you are interested in doing that, it looks like Aaron, Captain Aaron Indigo, has won a potion of potions that will appear in your hut. Um, yeah. Exclamation point shiny thing during the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in 10 minutes or so to see how this goes. See you soon. Hello, humans of the internet. Welcome back to the Gallon Horde. We are playing Big Fish and our party just made friends with the Big Fish or at least made agreement to not kill each other with the Big Fish which amounts to the same thing. Um, However, the Big Fish has some friends who are not so um, fond of you so I guess now we're gonna just roll some initiative. Let's just dive right in to that combat business. Oh wait, someone won a thing. Chuck! Chuck won! Chuck! You won some magnets! Great. So you need to go look at the Red Bubble store and then email me which two magnets you would like. Awesome, thank you. Alrighty. Initiative, please, from all the peeps. Over 20? Uh. No? No. No one over 20? Over 20? 
Not even the monk? Nope. Nope. Not, <laughs> not even with advantage. Not even with advantage. Cool, cool. All right. Um, how about over 15? 17. Yep. Uh, 19. Yep. Whoa, I heard a 19. 20. Oh, Shut I heard a 20. Who was 20? Ray. Ray's 20. Excellent. Ray's 20. Lon got 18. Lon got 18. Lon got 19. And Dark was 17. Oh my goodness. All yeah. Right. All right. All right. Cool. 17 All right. as well. All right, I'm going to guess that Sherrod is probably Dexier than Doris. Dar Doris probably. is plus five. Oh, shit. Oh. Sher oh, yeah, no, I'm plus four. Because I'm strength-based, man. Cool. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Um, Who does that leave me with? Um, Chuck's Chuck. probably down at 11. All right, cool. With advantage, um. rolled 11. <laughs> it happens. Yep. Okay, so, Ray, you're up first. Waiting for my roll 20 to load, sorry. That's all good. <laughs> These guys are all like brandishing tridents at you and shit. Well, um, eh, I have bonus action to do a shark. Okay. I'm a chomp, chomp, you a shit. Shark. Chomp. Love it. Let me get you a shark token, please hold. Would you like to be a normal shark or a hunter shark? What's a hunter shark? I don't know. They just look different. Okay, I'll sure. Give, I'll give you the. I'll give you the normal shark. How big is your shark? It's uh... a <laughs> reef shark. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what size is it? It doesn't matter. You can I'm be looking. medium, and unless you're. <laughs> it's medium. Medium. Cool. There you go. You have a shark token. We'll just move your ray token. Oh, that's a whale. Are you still a whale? Yep. Cool, I'm just sure moving Ray out of the way. There we go. Cool. Okay. Chakra. Uh, what you like doing? <laughs> uh, 40 feet. Yep. Okay. Not on top of it. <laughs> and... Can you do things, Bye. or do you have to wait because you turned into a shark? Isn't that an action? Well, that's no, that's a bonus action. Oh, nice. Wait, okay. no, it's Different. not. I lied. Nope. It's an action. Wrong kind of. Wrong kind of druid. Wrong kind of druid. Cool. So uh, that's I'll just you go there. Point. Okay. Excellent. Claudette. Whale debt. Uh, whale debt is gonna swim all the way up to this dude at the back. Um, okay. And is gonna bite at this one. Yep. And then tail whip this one. Okie dokie. So, bite. That is a 28 to hit. That will hit. Can it please make a dexterity saving throw? Can it? That is the question. That is a. Which one are you? You're this guy. That is a. 18! Cool, it takes 20 piercing damage and does not get swallowed. Well, that's um, nice. Tail attack! That is a dirty 20. That hits. And that is... Uh, 6, 8, 9... 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. And then Squidly is gonna swim up to this dude <laughs> and attack Squid. him with his okay. tentacles. All of the the familiars all have different names depending on what they are. Yes, no, I know. It's it's great. I love it. Oh, he has fifteen foot of range, so he's just gonna like chill back here. <laughs> um, Snack him with the tentacle. That is a twenty-four to hit. That will um, hit, and it is. It is grappled and takes uh, 10 plus 3, 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, and it's grappled. Do I have a grappled thing? We'll use that one. That's you? Uh, that is my turn. 
because I can't do any bonus actions as a sperm whale. No. Cool. All right. Um, he's going to swim up to the one that's grappled, going mm -hmm. around Squiddy. Mm -hmm. And he's going to stab at it with his trident using both hands, and mm -hmm. then green plane blade it as well. Actually, both times with the green plane blade with main and yep. bonus action. Cool. So first one. Is a 27 to hit? 28? Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's going to take... D8, D8. Uh, 10 piercing and 8 fire for the first swing. Yep. Second swing is a 26. So... Yes, that will hit. <laughs> 12 piercing and 5 fire. Yeah, he's dead. He just dies a dead immediately. Oh, I just realized he had, I had one head advantage, but he doesn't really matter. He's yeah. dead anyway. He's dead. Squidly's gonna eat him. These guys were relying on their big fish to protect them. <laughs> so this might be just uh, murder. Yes. Squidly's not gonna eat them. Squidly's gonna like hand it to the fish and then keep going. Oh, the fish eats it. <laughs> if it's dead, the fish eats it 100%. Yeah. Cool. That's you. That's John. Me. Doris. And then can I have a constitution 16 save? From this big guy? From the big guy, yeah. That is a... You'd think he would have good con. 22. He makes a save so he doesn't take anything. So I was going to cast a poison spray at him. Ah, okay. So. That, that'd be my turn. That's your turn? Share it! Uh, okay, <laughs> share it. <laughs> share it's undecided. Share it's going to attack the big guy. Yep. Um. So he'll move me to range if I put it on move. Um, so back with if the you move the square to the right, you get advantage. Oh, true. True, because then you're flanking. It's got plenty of movement, so that's no problem. Um, and. If you're swimming, unless right. you have a thing for swimming, you're half movement. You realize that, right? Yeah, I've got 60 yep. foot swimming speed. Okay, cool. Just checking. Yep. Um, so 27 and uh, 21. Yep, and yep. And so that is a 10 and a 7 piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And. A total of eight lightning damage. Mm -hmm. oh, and then he'll um, bite him a couple of times as well. That will be a 14 and a 23 to hit. A 14 misses. Okay. So that is. 10 bludgeoning damage. 10. Cool. Sweet. That's you. That's me. It is now their turn. So, the big guy is gonna... Oh. Vaishra. Can you make a wisdom save for me, please? Oh, it's a good thing I have to use my wisdom. It's a good thing you're a druid, huh? <laughs> Fifteen. Okay, you're fine. It it can technically command sharks. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not a, entirely sharky, so that's fine. All right, it is going to. Um, it's actually going to attack Sherrit because it thinks sharks are friends. So it's going to bite you and then stab you with its trident a couple of times. Or attempt to. So, first bite. 
only bite, actually. 23 to hit. It's a hit. That is... 11 points of piercing damage. As it sinks its teeth into you. And then it's going to stab you a couple of times with its trident. No, it's not, because that's a natural one. That's a 10. So apparently it's going to miss you with its trident a lot. <laughs> and then these blue folk, the blue ones, these two are obviously going to attack the whale. Um, what can you My AC is 13 as a whale. Oh. Oh, shit. They totally have access to tongues. They could have spoken to you. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> they, they are going to just attack you with bite, bitey claws. Are they? Are they? Yes, because you're right on top of them. So they're going to bitey claws you. So how many of them are there? Three, right? No, two. Two bitey claws. So first one, bite is an eight. That'll miss. Claws is a 17. That'll hit. And a seven. <laughs> Seven or miss. So that is four points of slashing damage from their three attacks from the first one. Let's see if the second one's any good. Oh, that's I'm better. Tw Twenty-one. Mm -hmm. uh, Nineteen and cocked. Five. So one bite and one claw hits you. So that's a whopping two points of piercing from the bite and three points of slashing from the claw. And then so, the five this other one is going to send a guiding bolt at Lon. Which is an attack. Yes. That is a 16. Nope. That misses. Nope. Cool. Make another wisdom save. Please. Twelve. Ah, you're fine. Because apparently they can't get a grip on your brain. Um, that's pretty much all she can do. So now we're left with just the little guy. Oh, we've got two little guys. Two little guys. It's because they're expecting shark brain, but they're getting through it right Yeah. 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 Right. So this one's going to come up to share it. It's going to go here so it has flanking. And this one's going to attack the whale debt. So, whale debt. Mm -hmm. That's cocked. Fuck's sake. Uh, 19. That'll hit. That is three points of piercing from the bite. And. Mm -hmm. Uh, eleven. That'll miss. Doesn't doesn't hit you, right? Share it. Yep. Thirteen. No. Natural twenty on the spear. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. Um. So that will be. Oh, I rolled quite well too. Sixteen points of piercing damage. From oh. its spear. You can stay with your net 20. That was nice. And that's them. Which brings us to Chuck. So Chuck's going to try his uh, serpentine bow, which gives a plus three on the magic. Um, mm -hmm. Overall, a plus 10 from his skill. So he's I've pre rolled. Uh, 14 was uh, a di with disadvantage, uh, was the Who low are roll. you shooting at? Uh, um, sorry, I am shooting at the main. Um, main enemy uh hold on. 14 misses missing and the next mm -hmm. one with a dis disadvantage was a 25. <laughs> yes <laughs> yep so the, the uh, bow has a 80 foot range so i'll stay where i am yep and the damage on that is obviously piercing yeah And it's eight points of damage. Hold on. This bow is from the deck of useful things from level one it gamers. Is. And the 
It is. Yep. Arrow becomes and... a snake. Yes, it sorry. Does. I was about to describe that. The, uh, both the arrows become snakes, and they also need, uh, with the one that hits, um, they because uh, of the venomous bite, uh, they also need to make a save uh, constitution. constitution. Thank you. Uh, 14 you. DC. Yep, 14. I'm going to say that's probably not going to succeed, even though his constitution is pretty good. Nope, that fails. Okay. I'll keep a track of that, because if uh, three occur, um, uh, unsuccessful saves occur, they're paralyzed. Cool. Nice. Cool. Well, that's so you. that's the range attack. Um, as a move, I will uh, see. No, I'll say where I am for the moment and yes, turn. Great. It is now the fish's turn. The fish watches this turn of events with great interest and enjoys nomming on someone who once was his friend. Ray, you're up. <laughs> chop, chop. Chop, chop. Is that what you said? <laughs> 19. 19, 19 hits. hits. And that's. Oh, I left it way over there. <laughs> Six. Six points. Here's the damage. Six points of damage. Is that what you said? Yes, ma'am. Cool. Do you have a second uh, chomp there. chomp or just one chomp chomp? No. Okay, cool. What? <laughs> Claudette. Whale dead. Uh, whale dead's gonna try and eat a guy again. Okay. Uh, so that is a 22 to hit. Yup. I assume you're eating that Dex first guy. Yeah. Dexterity yep. saving throw, please. Come on, bro. Natural 20. Boo. <laughs> uh, that is 25 points of piercing damage. Uh, that's enough to kill him, though. <laughs> He's dead now. He's well food. Cool. Nom nom. Um... Well, Claudette's not going to swallow him, because she's going to leave him for the fish. Okay. Uh, and then she will tail the other guy. Oh, helps if I roll to attack before I roll damage. Yes. Uh, 26. Yeah, that will hit. For another 18 points of bludgeoning damage. 18. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. She's bleeding in the water. Um, um and that's much- oh, Squidly. Squidly's gonna Squidly. go this way uh, and attack this one. That's it, my tail. Okay. Yep. Uh, net 20. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Squidly. Go, Squidly. Uh, so she is now grappled, I assume. Uh, she is now grappled. Yep. Uh, and takes. 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. Lucky she's a bit tougher than the others, but only a bit. Yep. <laughs> uh, and that's my turn. Leonel, just because you're running the tech does not mean you are immune to red dragons. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, Lon, you're up. <laughs> All right. Um, gonna swim up to the first one. That's and yep. give it a slap. It's grappled, so that means I have a fancy. It is. Correct. That is a 29 to hit. That will hit. <laughs> so they guys. take 16 piercing, 16 piercing and 2 fire. Uh-huh. Is it still alive? Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Second swing. Just need to know whether I need to swing the second time or not. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I doubt it's alive for that's long, a, but... That's a bad 20. <laughs> yep, yep, roll, roll your damage. Uh, it's going to be much. <laughs> much damage is the answer. Much so damage. So that's 13 plus 16, 29. Plus another 10. 29 piercing and dead fire. It's very dead now. Bye. Bye. Are you feeding her to the fish? Uh, yeah, I'll, he'll just like push it, the body towards the fish. <laughs> the fish noms it. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, I think oh, I still have some movement left. Uh... Probably. You have a swim speed, yeah. don't you? 
Yeah. Yeah. No, so I'm gonna try to swim and get into flanking position with Whale okay, Dead on the last one. Assume that yeah. you're on the. He's, he's yeah. around the corner, but the bad We can down, move right. everyone down a block if that would help. Nah, Let's just fine. do that. Then, then everyone's okay. there. We go. Yeah. Oh. Everyone's in the position. Cool. Um, That's his turn. Doris. Doris will laugh and then in Sylvan go, I see you, and can I have the three in my little corner all take um, dexterity saves, please? 16. The, the three? Oh, they are three. Yep. Dex saves. It doesn't affect your friends? Nope. <laughs> that is a. Oh, yeah, the, uh, any creature, so. Okay. Eight on the first guy. Less on the priestess, and that might save maybe fifteen on the big guy. No, it's sixteen. Ah, very they fine. All fail. So they all start glowing nice like green. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that bonus. gives people an advantage, right? Yeah, because yeah, because yeah. if as long as they can be seen, that you have advantage on them. Cool. Uh, at bonus action, she's going to apply a coat of poison to the tip of her spear, and that'll be her turn. Okay. Share it. You now have advantage on whoever you choose to hit. Because they are glowing. <clears throat> okay. Um, his, his first two attacks will be against the big guy. Yep. And uh, one's definitely a miss. The other one is 24. That hits. <clears throat> and... It will be 10 piercing and 3 lightning. And yep. then he will flurry of blows with 2 strikes. And that's a 28 and a 21. Yes, and yes. And so that's a 10 bludgeoning and an 8 bludgeoning. <coughs> Excuse me, 8 bludgeoning. Hey, he, he's starting to look a bit fucked up. And, and yeah, that's no movement, no turn. Cool. It's their turn. Um, Just for fun, Ray, can you make two wisdom saves for me, please? 15. 15. Oh, I have to roll, 15 and 15. Hang on, I've got to check his charisma now. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> that was very close. That was very close. <laughs> Not quite, though. All right, um, so he is going to just... bite and then stab with the trident. Share it. So... Oh, come on, man. That's a 13 on the bite. Oh. The first trident is a 19. Yes. The second trident is a 21. Yes. That was much better. Okay, so. Do you, you don't need them separated, do you? No. So 26 total from both attacks. That is piercing damage from the trident. And then... The other guy's also going to smack you because he. Oh, I totally had advantage. Never mind. The other guy's going to try to bite you. <laughs> That's a nat 20. Be glad that was on his bitey bite and not on the other guy's trident. And a 13 on the second one. I'm assuming that does not hit you. So the bite hits you. So that is a whopping 7. Nope. Yes, 7 points of piercing damage for, as it bites you. And then the priestess is gonna cast You know she's actually gonna go after the whale because you've been a problem. Um she is gonna first no, she's gonna cast guarding bolt before she moves because she's smarter than her driver. <laughs> That is a lot. Yep. 22. Minus is 15. Cool. Ooh, that's actually decent damage. 
I got a net 20 on my con save, so I hold my whale for 16 points of radiant damage. And then she's going to slash at you with her claws for a second attack. Which is a natural one, so she's not going to do that very effectively. And that's them! Ooh. Fish is going to eat his friends. Prior friends. He's beginning to think maybe he has new friends. Ray! I have a Shock Ray. Right? You do. Twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one. That hits. Nine points of piercing. Oh, he is barely holding on. Ugh. So close. So close. Is that you? Yep. Claude. Well oh, it. Sorry, is I Chuck got to go? Oh, I missed Chuck. Yeah. Chuck, you go. My bad. <laughs> All right. Sorry. That's okay. Chuck. Um, Chuck gets no turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. Firing the bow again, um, so I rolled a 16 and 17 uh, with the disadvantages, uh, sorry, with a normal, um, with the advantage that um, was uh, brings it to a normal, I think. Um, so yep. e either way, yeah, do those hit? They do. Cool, all right, so uh, two con saves, yep. same you person. Might wanna, you, you might want to um, aim your second arrow at someone else. I'm all right, saying. okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, okay, so first damage. Um, is eight points. Yeah, he's dead. He had one hit point okay. left after being chomped right. by Shark Ray. All right, and I will shift to the uh, one that's just attacked Claudette. Okay. Uh, so that's the, the, the second uh, roll was a 16 to hit, unless it's uh, with yep. advantage. Okay, yep. Okay, and the damage on that one coming to you is... A ten. Oh. Uh, now, with that, however, uh, I will add a. Excuse me a moment. Bonus section. No, not bonus section. Where is it? Uh, dreadful strike. Oh yeah. For an extra D four point of damage. Is it one? <laughs> and yep, just the one. Yeah. one image. <laughs> uh, but no, you're also, one. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and almost, almost. Uh, I've done a few in the orb uh, with more than one. Um, and uh, I also do favoured foe this time, like, like a, a numpty okay. I forgot last time. All right, uh, that's another D four, right? Yep, and this time I got a two. Okay. <laughs> Right, so, um, and I will move to close in this case. So um, I will move uh, 25 feet because I don't have magic swimming. swim. Yep, cool. although uh, the boots of the Zephyr that I'm wearing uh, do state that it ignores difficult terrain. So that's a technicality, but I'll leave it with you if that's a thing. <laughs> I don't know if that works for water because it's, no, it's, not, no. it's not like... The ground is covered with vines, which is what is That's difficult the, terrain. I just really. <laughs> I thought I'd throw it out there. I'm just sorry, yeah. throw it out there, but I'll move my 25 and be happy. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, to answer Chad's question, he had advantage because of flanking, disadvantage because of, of being underwater, so they cancelled each other out, so it was just very wrong. Yeah. Chad was asking about, yeah. Um, and the other the answer to the other question is they're less frustrated and more just very confused. They're not the smartest bulbs on the Christmas tree. They're just like, it's a shock! Why would you do what we're saying? Um, cool. So Ray went. Claudette, we're back to you. Uh, Claudette is gonna bite the one in front of her 27 hit for 21 damage. Oh. And if if it's still alive, can I have it an save, please? <sighs> I just wanna swallow something. <laughs> you, you might succeed here, yeah? because she her dex is zero, Ooh. so twelve. Yeah, swallowed. <laughs> oh, um, she is. So fired. they are restrained and uh, yep. swallow creature total cover. Uh, it takes acid damage yep. at the start of its turn. Yep. yep. Uh, start of each of my uh, turns. 
I, I swallowed um, something yesterday, so I know how I swallowed. Awesome. Sorry, Jax. Yes. Point of order. I forgot the uh, poison damage if the save was uh, uh, missed. Oh. Yeah, that was a seven on the die, so I'm going to go okay, with yes. So three d six coming your way as well. That was for her. Uh, for her, yes. Uh, so that's eleven points of poison damage. Okay, she is still alive. Lordette still gets to swallow her. Does an Barely. 18 hit the one at below Lon? Um, oh, this one. I can't see because you're now on top of her. I'm sending you to the back. To your back. This one. 12. Uh, yes, 18 hits. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that is 7, 9, plus 8 is 17 points of smacky damage. He is back to death. Uh, and then Squidly is going to attack this one. Mm -hmm. This one is currently inside Claudette's belly. Just to be clear. Uh, and that's an 18. And it yep. is grappled for 13 points of bludgeoning. Cool. These poor guys. They're so outmatched. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> okay, Lon! Uh, Everyone question. around you has died. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Question, how beat up is the dude outside looking? Uh, averagely beat up. Not, not, he's not very bad yet. Alright. I um, think that, I think Squidly's damage might have been the first damage on him. Alright, in that case, Lon will swim towards it, uh, get into some sort of flanking position, I think, too, anyway. Yep. Actually, it's verified, it doesn't matter. It is verified, yes, so it doesn't matter. And he's going to stream flame stab it. That's what he does. First one is a 26. To hit yep. for 9 piercing and 1 fire. Yep. Second one is a 29 to hit for... Yep. 13 piercing and 3 fire. That makes 16, right? Now he looks really, really yes. hurt. Really, really hurt. Very hurt indeed. You done? That's, that's <laughs> his turn, yeah. Yes! First, we'll actually try attacking something this turn. <laughs> so she'll come up here. And then she's going to make two attacks with the spear. So Spoiler, one... you just have to hit it. <laughs> Fair enough. First one, it was a 12. That just hits. And the, the, and the first one was a 12, second one was a 22. Cool. Do you, um, you want to roll the damage? It has one hit point left. Nah, fine. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it goes. It's, it's, it dies. It dies is what happens to it. I assume you're not doing anything else on this turn. Nope. Share it. Um, well, aren't we, aren't we out of combat now? Technically, no. you, you, she can she can attempt to smack you in the belly, I guess. Because sure. presumably, there's a if she does enough damage, you have to throw her up, yes, right? Yes, she needs to do thirty points of damage. She can't do thirty points of damage in one turn, so we can assume that you just digest her. No. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, and out of combat. Bit <laughs> magic on once the she, items. Once she stops kind of wiggling around, Claudette will like spit her out because Claudette needs to turn back into a gnome and does yeah. not want to turn back into a gnome with a person inside her. That's so, true. That's true. We'll spit it out for the Cool. The fish noms it. It's not fussy. It's very, very hungry. Yeah. It kind uh, of. Claudette. We'll turn back into her gnomish self so the whale can go away. Okay. And be like, cool, I'm gonna... Oh, shark. I get to be a shark for five hours. Cool. I'm gonna see if I can get somebody to move this fish. Uh, and so she swims down to the bottom and, like, sits. Um, and is going to cast... Contact Other Plane. And attempt to contact the lady. Hoping that the lady is of sufficient power to be contactable with this spell. 
I, I need to look at the spell. Hang on. So, you mentally contact a demigod, spirit of a long dead sage, or some other mysterious entity from another plane. She's specifically trying to reach out to the lady. Yeah. Um, contacting this extra planar intelligence can strain or even break your brain, so I've got to roll for crazy. Yes. Roll for crazy. Thank god I am proficient in int saves. 13 plus 7 is 20. I am not crazy. Cool. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, that's debatable with Claudette. Yeah. I can ask the entity up to five questions. I must ask each question before the spell ends. They can it, uh, and they get yes, no, maybe, never, irrelevant, or unclear. Like one word answers. Yep. Okay, go. So, uh, my lady, do you have somebody in your employ who could transport a creature to the plane of water? Yes. Can you please send them here? Not immediately. Uh, within the next day or so, please? Yes. If it's okay with you, can we help move this fish back to a place where it will be more comfortable. Yes. Uh, are you having a good day? <laughs> this time the voice is different. <laughs> okay. Oh, more no. masculine. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. I, ro I rolled a net 20. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh. And it says, is, I am now. Okay. Um, Claudette is gonna. Well, that's it. She only gets five questions. That's it. The spell's over. <laughs> she looks at the others and she's like, um. Um, what, um? <laughs> well... Does Cla Okay, so, Jax. Claudette... Does Claudette know who that... Like, Claudette's not stupid. She has an intelligence of 17. She can assume yeah. who that voice was, yeah? Probably. She's probably never heard it before, but I imagine she has enough knowledge of what's happening in this place to make an assumption, yes. Okay, I would like so you to all know that I have just started a timer, but I'm not going to tell you how long it is. <laughs> um, Jerusalem's going to drink we... a healing potion. We have to go. And she's just going to say, uh, she looks at Squidly and says, go to the village, and Squidly takes off. Um, and she says, okay. for lack. So you're leaving the fish there without explaining anything? Oh, shit! No! Lom <laughs> also wants to make a point of action to make sure that we check the big guy bef or anything before we feed him to the fish. Quickly! Claudette looks at the fish, she can't speak with animals, and she's like, We need to go and get the person who can send you to where you need to be. Please stay here. Okay. Thank you. Um and then it's gonna quickly let people do their investigation rolls, and then she's trying to act okay. as quickly if you're, as If you're looking at anything, you uh, should do it now. What are you looking yeah, for? Yeah. <clears throat> I was just going to strip the guy of everything that he's got on him with his gear. Just the whole he, he He doesn't have much. He has, like, like his clothes are not great. Um, he has a trident. It's not a magic trident. It's a pretty standard trident. He's just going to take everything. Okay. Deal with it later. We're on a timer. The six okay. seventeen investigation, if that's relevant. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have much to find. So, all right. Uh, um, Chuck, Chuck rolled a net twenty for twenty one, and he also has uh, deep magic. He can run too. What are you looking for? Uh, just anything in the area that's been left behind by the um, fish not gobbling up the enemy. There, nah. There's, there's really nothing. Um, the, the vibe is these guys are taking anything the fish doesn't eat. 
Um, yep. So wherever they're going to, that's probably where anything like that would be. Yep. No, they don't good. have much on them. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Claudette says the word. Cool. Black. You are back in the throne room. The lady looks at you and goes, that seemed a little unnecessary. Ah. Uh, so, there. Um, last question didn't get answered by you. It got answered by a male voice. Um, possibly a problem. Um, yes, I would say so. The, the, the fish is in the wrong place, and if we don't have to kill it, then we probably shouldn't, but somebody will need to send it back. But if he knows where that is now, that would be sending somebody into a trap. Yes. Possibly. So what do you propose? Do. We do. I don't know. I'm not... I don't... Uh, this... I don't... Uh, she, like, rip, her form ripples, like, few a few things before her air genasi form settles. Uh, and she says, the creature cannot stay where it is. It doesn't deserve to die. If we act... Are we able to act quickly to send it? Or perhaps... Wait... To see if he acts first we... and then sends something. He is likely to be following your trail now. I don't think he cares about the fish. I don't think he cares about the people in that village. I think he cares about the people who work for me. Which means anyone I send there now is going to be of more interest to him than the fish was. Do you see my problem? Can we ask somebody who is not a member of the Horde to move the fish? I have a thing, if you are willing to go back and do it. Yes, I, I am. am. It yeah. is a planar <laughs> gate. It would allow you to go back, open up a door to the plane of water, but it, there are no guarantees about where it will drop you. I mean, is that anywhere, you're is better to than, anywhere is better than where the fish currently is. All right. So yes, we should move quickly. Yeah. So she to. sends Skeg the goblin off and he comes back with a box, which possibly some of you recognize as the cubic gate. And she mm -hmm. turns it and she goes, this button will take you to the plane of water. Once you're there, you'll have to use the word to bring you back though. Okay. Please try not to die. And try to get this done before my husband's minions show up. And she hands you the cubic gate. So we just Understood. push the button? Once you're there, yes. Go. She claps her hands. You're back in the water. Um, <laughs> while we've been gone, Squidly has, like, gone up to the beach and yep. drawn, like, a fish and then a line through it and then it's disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, as we're soon going way off book now, but that's fine. <laughs> Yep. As soon as we're back, I push the button and I say to the fish, follow me. And we go through the gate. Okay. It yep. opens a gate in, in the water and you like swim through it and you find yourselves in the plane of water, which I guess will look a bit like this because I don't have a map for that. I didn't know this was going to happen. Um, <laughs> it is water in every direction. It's like under the sea, dialed up to 23. Um, everything is very big. Let's just do this for fun. Please hold while I randomly find a plane of water monster for you to encounter. <laughs> Definitely doing perception check. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think you're going to need to. No, um, <laughs> it's one, 29. And passive is 18. Where is the... Yeah, the, passive 19. Somewhere there's a... Where is the thing? Also, just a thought. Oh, there. We dragged Beishra out... We just had it for a random moment. We had a shark yep. popping around. Still the a shark room. in the yeah. throne room, <laughs> flapping about, <laughs> seeing a shark. Yeah, yeah. And then that happened. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, got a let's let's maybe not either. suffocate the base run. <laughs> well, I was yeah. like, uh, oh, this is disorienting. <laughs> someone roll me a d8. Sure, I've got d8 out because I was using it for damage. Six. I, oh, okay. Six. Cool. Um, you see, what actually is this? Please hold while I figure out what the actual thing is. 
It's gargantuan. It's infected Ooh. Titan. So it's fuck off big. Um, I believe it's some sort of uh, kraken, basically. So it's a big thing with a lot of tentacles, and it is coming towards you. The fish suddenly looks like its actual size, and it turns to you, and do you still have Speak With Animals up? Yep. Uh, Ten minutes. And it goes, this is much better. Thank you. And it is gone off into the sea as this thing is coming towards you. Mm, and I say the word again. Oh, in the throne room. After your very brief, please tell me you brought the gate with you. Yeah, I've got it yes. in my hands. Cool. Cool. It's very, like white very, it. very, very brief visit to the plane of water. And the lady goes, "Well, that was quick. All well? Yes, I don't dally about. The fish is now somewhere nice, and we yeah, are we not left dead. Quick, something big was about to eat us." Yes, there's a lot of big things there. Many large things to make about. Any yeah. sign of yeah, my dear husband? Now. No, no sign at all. Uh, have you stopped being a shark? Uh huh. Cool. She looks a little. In salty. about, you will never know, but in about one minute and fourteen seconds, um, a bunch of druids are going to pop up there <laughs> and find absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's. <laughs> well, that was a bit exciting. Here um, point of order, contacting me via planar telecommunications um, opens a line that can be traced, so to speak. I hold out the planar gate. I'm like, she um, takes it. Well, we didn't want to... It was just... Planar it had been... It had been Long swimming and... He's going to interrupt all that. My lady, saving the fish was my decision. I will take responsibility if there needs to be punishment. Claudia, I don't have a problem, Claudia. With... I don't have a problem <laughs> with you saving the fish. I just, you know, for future reference, perhaps do not reach out to me in such a way. Understood. It, it, does, it does make a certain amount of cosmic noise. That can be. None of us had the ability to move the fish, and it had just been swimming along and found itself <laughs> in a place where it should have been. I understand. I understand why you did it, and I'm not angry about that. I just, for future reference, maybe a different solution? Yep. Yeah, I'm, we, it's okay. I'm, left, I'm sure Indigo is going to stab me for this. It'll be fine. Indigo will not stab you for this. Indigo has also made similar mistakes. It's okay. What's a little light stabbing between friends? I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, who am I to judge? I think yeah. we should all go and get dry now, as we're just like water everywhere. <laughs> she kind of waves a hand and all the water's gone. Like it's, it's. Well, that was a success, I guess. Yes. You did deal with the problem, <laughs> which is what I sent you to do. It's interesting that this thing was in the wrong place. We are certainly seeing a lot of that sort of business it, yeah she looks at Lon she's like it said it was just swimming along and then found itself in a new place correct your, your majesty appeared yes. there somehow it had no recollection we hope uh, Bethan is not inconvenienced by any of our antics I do not think my husband has any interest in the humans who fish in that little piece of sea this is good to know it would have drawn no attention whatsoever if it hadn't, if he hadn't overheard. Um, these, I believe that these strange things being in the wrong place is a direct result of what he has done. I don't think he cares, but I care, so we will deal with it. That's why I didn't want to just kill it, because it hadn't done any. It was just eating what was available. Yeah. I understand. You did the right thing. Just maybe your methods could have been slightly more upsec. Well. Now you know. Yeah. This is and... a learn, learn and move forward moment. And now I'm a little okay. bit more powerful and maybe I'll be able to move things across the plains myself. Maybe you can. That has its own set of dangers, but. Yeah. 
but what's life without a little danger? Well, none of us would be here if we weren't into that idea. It sounds like it's time for a drink. I hope you have a wonderful day, my lady. And she bows. I appreciate your work, all of you. You have done good today. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you have nothing else, Monster loots her and turns around to me. She links arms with Grandma Lon and... Yeah, yeah Grandma <laughs> Lon is still going around, by the way. He's just, <laughs> it's just going to be a thing. How long does the evening last? And like eight hours, hours or something? Eight, eight hours, hours or something, yeah. Hours. yeah. Eight yeah. hours of Grandma Lon. Here we go. Yep. That does mean that while Ray was a shark and Claudette was a whale, you still just saw them as whatever they were seemed as. No, Cla not Claudette. Claudette didn't have seeming, yeah. But Ray, you just saw Ray acting like a shark. <laughs> I can get out of these guys. I mean, I could take bites out of them anyway. Theoretically. Yeah. 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 Did we just finish right. a game in less than two hours? Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. Oh. Even, even. I mean, wow. to be fair, that that last bit was deliberately rushed because I was like, okay, well, you have a set amount of time before people are going to show up to see what the who the fuck is calling on Titania from the middle of the ocean on some random world. <laughs> mm. Um, yeah, you all go off and do your thing. You will get paid as usual because you did in fact succeed at the quest. Like the mission objective was completed. Um. And yeah, that's it. Record time, you guys. Nice work. Yeah. Whoops, speed run. <laughs> well um, yeah, that was impressive. That was. Mm. It would have been a lot longer if the fish had been fighting. But D and D. Wasn't yep. supposed to be a diplomacy mission, but here we are. It's what you you spent two druids alone. True. Well, I sent two <laughs> signed up. Anyway. Um, next week, Lionel will be DMing the Floating Rocks on Saturday because we are taking the weekend off. Um, and yeah, so come along and watch them go up into the sky and hang out on some rocks that float. Um, we will see you. Oh, and don't forget to again. join it. Join our Minecraft. Come and watch the Minecraft thing that they're doing on Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, Adam and his two sprogs, the seven and the nine year old, will be doing some Minecraft stuff on stream. Um, I'm sure it will be very entertaining. So join us for that. Uh, we will see you all then. Have a beautiful time zone. We love you. <laughs>